Hello and welcome to another demonstration. Today I'm going to be showing how you can utilize CyberArk aim within Ansible Tower. So CyberArk has a secrets engine and uh, I'm going to be utilizing Tower to pull secrets out of there and implement them in my place. So starting out, I'm going to take a quick look up how you set up CyberArk to get everything working. So within CyberArk, we have to first log in administrator all right so this was a demo environment kindly provided by CyberArk so once you're in the first thing you have to do is create an application so I'm using some of the default applications I can just click search it's gonna warn me hey if you've got a lot of stuff in here it could uh, be slow <laughs> obviously I don't have many things in there so it runs actually pretty quick but I'm just using the test app ID here you would um, create um, a new test app, a new application, whatever it happens to be. It allows you to kind of scope these things. So an application you can have access to specific vaults or um, you know give them read write access, various things like that, right? So you can kind of really lock it down. So here test app, once you create it, you create some certificates, you associate those certificates with this application. You can see this is the one I'm actually utilizing in my infrastructure, the 204F. So once you have the test application and ID, you can actually lock it down to allowed machines as well. So it's kind of belt and suspenders. So not only do you have to have the uh, right certificates, but you also have to be coming from the right IP addresses. Right? They give you a lot of options to lock things down. Once you have that, you have to create a policy for access control into the safe itself. So I'm just going to be using the test safe inside of the default vault I'll look at edit members you can see once you edit the members uh, in there you have to add your application and here I give it retrieve access so all you can do is reach in there and read those so once you have all that set up you can um, check your various secrets in and out I'll show you by popping into the vault here uh, all right, I remember the password. And again, my uh, safe is going to be test. That's test with a capital T. And then inside of here, I've created two uh, secrets or passwords. I've got one that's taco and one that's Ansible. Ansible's password is, if I show it, it's just Red Hat, right? So that's all going to come into play. Remember, it's the safe is test with a capital T. And the password we're looking for is Ansible, right? And his result will be Red Hat. So I'm going to go ahead and log off of the vault. Now that I have that configured, I mean, really, there's not a whole lot to it, right? That was actually pretty succinct, pretty simple. I come into Tower. So how does Tower actually utilize it? It utilizes it through its credential system. So if I were to add a new credential, give it a name, blah, 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 uh, and then select the credential type, you can see that there's already some built in for uh, CyberArk. This CyberArk aim pool, this is one I actually created, a custom credential. I'll show you that in a second. But if I choose the CyberArk aim central credential provider, you can select that. And now it gives me the opportunity to enter the URL as well as the application ID, right? The application ID is going to be test app ID. That was the one we were just looking at. You also put in your key and certificate information. Bob's your uncle. You're ready to actually start utilizing. So if I take a look at my credentials, it is my CyberArk Red Hat, right? You can see it's the, the AIM Central Provider Lookup Credential Type. So if I look in there, I can see I've got mine set up for my instance. I've got my keys in there, my application ID. How do I actually start utilizing this? Um, it's not a machine credential, right? So how do I, how do I pull this in? So I'm going to add a new one, and I'm going to give it a name of whatever. I'm going to select the credential type as machine. Right, so this is going to be something I'm going to use to log into servers or network elements. And generally, you use, well, if you could spell properly, it works better. I'm just going to type Mac. There's my machine credential type. I'll select it. Now I can type in my username, say it's going to be for servers, and I want to log in as root. But what do I do for password? I hit the little magnifying glass. And when I do that, it pulls up my CyberArk credential that I had just created. Ah, see, so I'm referencing it in this credential from the other one. I choose next, and now it gives me the opportunity to fill in some metadata for this. 
and under object query I can hit the question mark and it shows me exactly how to set this up safe equals the name of the safe uh, semicolon and then object equals and the object I'm trying to pull so in our instance it's going to be safe equals test with a capital T and then object equals Ansible and the reason we're doing it is just we're testing and I can click test and you can see over here in the top right it did a successful lookup on that so I can save this and then I can start utilizing so now at runtime whenever I issue this credential it will look up to my secrets engine through that aim uh, provider credential I created and it'll pull this out at runtime so if I update that in my uh, my aim vault if I update it in the safe it'll automatically get pulled in here every time it run so I've um, I want to use this in some non-standard ways right so in this instance I've got a couple of switches you can probably hear the hum over my shoulder but I keep a backup account on all of my network elements right if everything else fails I'd have to be able to log into this thing to fix it so I keep a backup account and I want to pull that and apply it via the uh, you know the, the iOS templates so how do I go about doing that what I do is first I create my playbook uh, I've got one that's going to show uh, using that credential and uh, pulling out a special variable. So all it's really doing is looking up this variable, CA underscore encrypted, and one is it's printing it out, and then other is it's echoing it on the uh, local machine. So where does that CA encrypted come from? If I go to credential types, I created a custom one. CyberArk aim pull is what I call it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prompt for uh, encrypted password that's theoretically what's going to be in here and uh, it's going to supply that as CA encrypted over to my playbook so at runtime if I'm using this custom credential it's going to pass over whatever that encrypted value is to CA encrypted so I created that custom credential I go into credentials and I add a new one of that type right credential type cyberarch aim pull and then I do the uh, for encrypted password I do the little lookup here and I choose the CyberArk Red Hat pop over to metadata for this object and you can see I put in object query type save equals test and object equals Ansible so it's going to be looking up in safe test object Ansible at runtime so now I can actually inject it into my playbooks and use it more flexibly so we come back over to templates I have one for CyberArk credential display and obviously you don't want to display these things plain text the way I'm doing in uh, in this playbook right so you don't generally want to have this very secret password and then just display it plain text but just for the sake of uh, demonstration purposes I've got uh, that uh, cyber Arc game show password YAML right there that play and I've got the cyber Arc aim pull as my credential type we'll go ahead and launch that really quick as it launches it's going to do the inception lookup and you can see CA encrypted equals Red Hat so that was our um, key password combo key value pair there came back successfully so something else I used was in this playbook so showed it plain text here but say there's an instance where I don't know say for example I'm updating the password on uh, some devices and I don't want that to show up in the logs there's an option called no underscore log you can set that to true and now it's not visible anymore so on that echo shell while it works successfully if I click here to see additional output you can see the output has been hidden due to the fact that no log true was used so it allows you to use um, secure encrypted information within your plays without it being displayed so now that I've gone through all those hoops to show it to you let's actually uh, run it against something usable CyberArk iOS password change so I'm going to fire that off while that's running cyberarc aim ios user password I take a look at that playbook all it's doing is it's going against my cat uh, which is my catalyst 3550 upgrade group and it is using the ios user module for the backup user and it's applying ca encrypted and i'm doing no log true so that it won't display so now that it's connected to switch one and two it's successfully updated those guys if i click I can see while there was a change, change equals true, 
all that output was hidden due to no lock. So it really is that simple to use your CyberArk uh, vaulting system inside Ansible Tower. It's um, one of the easier ways of doing these things. I really like working with it. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, please fire my way. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.